example I've had is a lady, an old lady, came up to me in a public exhibition and gave me a cutting from a newspaper with a picture of a guy being shot. Local anti-campaigns are one of the key factors stopping about 80% of the proposed wind energy projects in Britain. Had they all been built, 10% of our electricity would have been non-polluting. And how the heck are we meant to persuade people like India and China that they should develop in a more sustainable way when we're not prepared to even accept, you know, the old wind farm in the landscape? So how's it going? All right, yes. Not too much trouble? Not really, no. Nobody's punched me up yet, anyway. <laughs> Good. Piers has come back to Ernie's farm with a plan to make the turbines less visible, trying to kick-start the planning process that the anti-campaign has now held up for 18 months. Another 18 months of climate change, another 18 months where I've been able to do nothing about it. Yeah, I feel really, really f***ed off with it. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you must be feeling the same as me. It's just, I mean, how long have we got? Piers' compromise reduces yeah. the number of turbines from 15 down to 9. This is still the equivalent electrical power to for 11,000 homes. Yeah. yeah. So it's still a, there's still a lot of power. Exactly the opposite is happening to the very thing that needs to happen. These things need to be speeded up and actually they're getting slowed down. Plenty of politicians are talking about it, but when it comes down to it, it's just not happening. It's just not happening, folks. June the 11th, 2007, in a hotel room in Bedford, Piers is polishing his speech for tonight's showdown with the local planning committee. This committee can approve this application. If you do, you will show courage and leadership. He has just six minutes to convince them to approve his wind farm. I'm absolutely confident that if you approve this project, you'll look back on the decision and say, thank goodness we said yes. But the committee rejected Piers' application, saying that his wind farm would be conspicuous and out of place in the Bedfordshire landscape that it would decrease enjoyment of nearby footpaths and negatively impact a listed building and an ancient monument. In other words, it would spoil the view. Well, we're delighted that it's been refused, yes. Well, it's a wonderful result. It just shows if you work hard, if you look at all the facts, if you do it fair and with balance, you can get a good, a good outcome. Ten against and one in favour. Might have even been eleven against and one in favour. But there was only one guy that actually, actually voted in favour of it. Oh, hi, Mum, it's Piers. Uh, I think it was 10 to 1 or 11 to 1 against. Yeah, just a waste of time. That's it. I could have said anything, to be honest. I don't think it would have made any difference. Of course, worried about global warming. I mean, that's got to be something that we're all concerned about. I mean, we're all doing our bit to try and conserve and looking at renewable energy. Of course, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're part of the life. <laughs> yes. And it is global warming. For the first time, scientists confirm the link between climate change and our awful weather. Emergency services scramble to Bedford Swan. As the floodwaters finally worked their way along the Great Shoes, other parts of Bedfordshire didn't escape either. We've lived up here for over 40 years and we've...